um, I don't want to take your time too much. Sure, and if you have more questions, that's basically you're not my, my time. questions. The most thing I wanted to know about was just the um, the concept of heaven and hell in Christianity, yes. and basically why there's so many denominations. And that's it. That's yeah, all I'm I not, needed to ask. Finally, I want you to think about the difference between heaven and hell in Islam Christianity. In heaven, there is no sex. Mm -hmm. We don't have sex. In heaven, we will have glorified bodies that never die. And we're going to be in the presence of God, seeing God visibly, being filled with his love and joy forever, but no more sex. Your Jannah, according to your Quran mm -hmm. and Sunnah, you're going to have the hoodies with swelling breasts, big breasts that don't sag, and men with eternal erections deflowering them forever and ever, along with young boys serving them, meats, wine, milk and water, you name it. Now, are you okay? I want to ask you honestly. Are you okay that you and your mother, if you make it to Islamic Jannah, will be among the hoodies for a man to deflower forever and ever? I don't want to answer Good. this kind of question. That's all right. I just want you to think about it. And it's not the shaitan with the waswas. It is God Almighty, the true God, the true God who loves you with an everlasting love, Father, His Son, Jesus, Holy Spirit, who loves you and adores you, speaking in your ears to set you free from Shaitan and his lies, because the greatest disrespect for a woman is to say that Jannah will be a place where there'll be Huris and some of the Muslima who are good enough Muslima to make it, joining them on couches for Muslim men with eternal erections, deflowering them, and they go back to being virgins and being deflowered over and over again with swelling breasts, breasts that are big, that don't sag. That's chapter 78 of the Quran, verse 33. What a filthy, okay, wicked and, and back to what I said about shaitan putting things. Um, I was just saying that what Muslims say yes. when somebody, they, for example, were to ask questions that they would say that are leading to disbelief, amen. which is what I said before. No, I know they're saying that. And I'm praying that the true God will reveal to you he is speaking to your heart because he loves you and bring you to the truth. And Jesus Christ is Lord. So anytime you have questions, call me. I'll answer. I'm here for you. Okay, wait. I just thought one more thing. Sure, go ahead. A lot of Christians say that um, a Christian could not go to hell because they say that they're, um, what's the word, that Jesus basically purchased the sin. Yeah, well, I'm just wondering, then, what's the point of earth in Christianity then? What do you mean, what's the point? Because yeah. Jesus is coming to like, the earth. He's coming to the earth to dwell. But what's the point of human beings if they say that you're, if Jesus already died for your sins? I don't know. What's what's your question? It doesn't. Like they say, if Jesus died for your sins and you're forgiven, then what's the point of the earth of, of, of being on earth for humans? Because that's where we're going to live forever with Jesus on earth. So, in Islam, it says that the dunya is a punishment for the believers. Yeah. And that our place is in heaven. Yeah. So then do Christians believe that this earth is a punishment as well? No. The earth was created for God and man to dwell together. But when Adam and Eve sinned, then the earth became corrupt. And now God's goal is to then restore the earth and make it perfect and pure. So that those who believed in Jesus who are now resurrected and are glorified with bodies that can never die and where they'll never sin will dwell with God on earth forever. It's not heaven out there. Heaven's coming to the earth at the end when Jesus comes to resurrect the living and the dead, punish the wicked, banish them from the earth, change the earth to become perfect. No more pain, no more suffering, no more disease, no more death. And believers dwell with God on earth forever. That's Revelation chapter 21, 22. So we don't believe like you the dunya is simply a punishment and then the dunya will be wiped out and you're going to leave in Jannah. Jannah will be on earth and God will be on earth with human beings forever. Okay, and then one just wanted to know if there's a punishment for leaving Christianity. Not on this earth. As Christians, we have no right to do anything to you. As a Christian who loves Jesus, I have no right to kill you or throw you in prison because Jesus didn't give me that authority. All your punishment would be is you can't come to church and have fellowship with us and take the Eucharist until you repent and return to Jesus. But apart from that, you can do what you want. You're going to answer to God on the day of judgment. 
Okay. Okay, that's all I need to ask. Anytime. May the Lord Thank Jesus you. bless you. May the Lord Jesus keep you sweet. And may he make you his angel, glorifying him, and that you're in love with him as he's in love with you. Lord Jesus, save her and bring her and use her as your light in Jesus' name. So anytime you have a question, call me. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. What a sweet angel, man. Pray for her. What a sweet angel. She, you know why she made me smile, guys? Because she sounds like she's young enough to be my daughter, a young, you know, and it's just like angelic. May the Lord Jesus save her in Jesus' name. And she's so intelligent. Pray for her. God knows her by name. I don't want to give out too much information about her. Just say, Lord Jesus, that Albanian Muslima. Right? All right.